अगर आपके मास्टर्स डिग्री के ग्रेड एवरेज हैं या उससे भी ज्यादा खराब हैं, देन मे बी थिंकिंग कि मेरे को पीएचडी नहीं मिलेगी इज ए वेरी कॉमन थिंग फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ यू बट ऑनेस्टली आई गेट इट यू माइट नॉट हैव ए रियली गुड स्कोर इन योर मास्टर्स बट आई स्टिल प्लानिंग टू डू ए पीएचडी आउटसाइड इंडिया तो क्या आप एलिजिबल हो क्या सुपरवाइजर आपको सिलेक्ट करेगा वंस यू सबमिट योर फॉर्म वंस यू गिव देम आउट योर सीवी योर ट्रांसक्रिप्ट्स एंड योर कवर लेटर विल दे रियली बी वेल लुकिंग एट यू इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस ऑन नॉट सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दैट इन दिस वीडियो एंड आई थिंक टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो आपको कुछ वैल्यूएबल इंसाइट्स मिलेंगे विच कैन हेल्प यू विद योर पी एच डी एप्लीकेशन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so let's be honest when a professor abroad sees your transcript and it's below 8 or below 6 7 cgpa whatever it generally is an indicator ki wo aapke jo application hai usko reject kar denge ya they will not consider it it's a filter right it 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 tells them that you were not able to handle the load of your institute of your academic studies and you probably were not doing that well but the assumption is actually somewhat wrong sabke case same nahi hote maybe you had a tough semester maybe there was some family issue or maybe your university had a very tough curriculum and it was hard to get a good grade anything would happen right but now your goal is to give them irrefutable evidence which which which, which means that you need to show them that you are a candidate that they need to select now this has multiple steps you can either do this by writing a paper during one of the projects you can take after your master's thesis or you can write a solid statement of purpose let's talk about these things in very great detail and we will one by one sort whatever things they might look for when you are sending your phd application so the question what is the strongest weapon that i have against a bad cgpa is either a publication or a good letter of recommendation and of course if you do some project in that time well and good to bhai bhul jao aapka course work kya tha aapne semester mein kya kiya show the professor to whoever you are applying kahin bhi aap professor ko mail bhej rahe ho ya aap application submit kar rahe ho show them that you are capable of doing research now this basically means that you uh need to have a really good masters thesis keep in mind this video is not really for those who have already done masters it's for those who are going through the masters and have a bad cgp in the first two semesters and are still <laughs> able to write a masters thesis so this basically means you need to write a killer masters thesis matlab aapki masters thesis mein bhai hona chahiye ke ya yeah, kuch dam tha maybe you published a paper great job but if you haven't published and if if somehow you're able to show ke mai ek acha researcher hu then you can somehow uh, do some presentation a good presentation maybe attend a conference and present a poster there something like that or maybe write a review paper anything man just talk to your supervisor and get something done a, a cv uh, your cv has to really show that aap log us cheez ko karne ke kabil ho jo research mein required hai which is to show up and do things every day irrespective of how the results are sometimes right so when your email is written to that foreign professor or when your email or whatever your sop the first thing should be addressed is that despite having so and so cgpa i have done so and so things in my masters or i have so and so thesis with so and so publications or i have done this poster presentation this is an instant shift in focus then the person will not really look at oh this person had maybe 7.5 cgpa but has two publications wow it's great so he can do research maybe he had a bad semester maybe he had a really tough semester or uh, the education is just hard in that institute whatever they don't really know right and maybe when you get in the interview you can clarify with them whatever but this paradigm shift this this shift in their thinking process is your primary job and aapko karna hi padega ki aap somehow in your master's thesis do a right good thesis in some good institute maybe if possible or in your institute then write a paper work on some paper first author publication is hard so second third author bhi chalega next thing which you probably might overlook because ye thoda hota hai in india when you're uh, asking for a letter of recommendation your supervisor will say okay just give me the link and i will send the letter of recommendation please say no please say sir if possible uh, since i have worked for you maybe for 
uh, two semesters or more than that, please add so and so things because I have a bad CGPA. Can you please give an honorary mention that I have done a good master's thesis and I have, well, been a sincere person? You can't really tell them ki ye lik do, but you can make a request. Can you please highlight my strong points rather than my weakness? Also giving an insight that despite my weakness, I was able to achieve so and so things. So you need this thing. This, this is very important. Okay. The uh, PhD application or the portal ke submit karo, ya fir aap email kar rahe ho. your efforts should be shown in that letter of recommendation. And this will only come when you tell your supervisor that you can do this. Or that person knows you really well and knows that he has done a lot of work. But okay, his marks are a little bit more than that. And trust me, people do consider this. It doesn't happen, okay, by itself. You need to request. So that is a lot of important. And and this is really overlooked by a lot of people. They say, sir, give me a LOR and then they say, yes, okay, give me. No, no, no. You, you have to pester them that yes, the LOR should show my efforts in entirety, okay? Now, what was after this? Okay, LOR took it. We have mentioned it in our SOP, whatever it is, our details. The next thing is in your CV, it should show that you are willing to work hard, that you have some skills that are relevant to the project or that you are the right person. Either your CV should mention that my experiences hai, despite my, C, uh, my CGPA being so and so or it should really show that my so and so skills, hai, maybe they are relevant to the project. If you high energy, mein karna, you know root, you know C++, you know certain models, you know certain simulation tools. That is really important because this shows the, the professor that, okay, this person has done some work and in my lab, I don't have to train him from the scratch because anybody doesn't really want that you have to learn everything from the beginning. If you want to build upon something, they can do that. That's fine. So really, this is very, very important that you sit down, learn some tools, maybe Python, whatever, C++, Root, whatever, whatever is relevant to you, whatever field. I'm only talking about high energy because that's where I am. But this is very important. Upskill the shit out of yourself. <laughs> Mind my language. But really, presentation skills, reviewing skills, article writing skills are very important. When you write down an article, you realize how hard it is. Matlab, references se leke, apne thoughts ko recollect karke, data ko present karke, explain karna, cheezon ko overlook na karna. It's really, really not that easy, right? And so when you're doing this in your master's thesis, you learn a lot of things and you can now, it's not easy, nahi hai, but you can, they will be, it will be visible and you send your CV, you write your SOP, it will show. Okay, so that's very, very important. Okay, so to wrap up in some sense, your low MSc marks are completely just a roadblock. <laughs> they are just a small obstacle and you can overcome them by doing certain steps. Look, your PhD application is not deadline ke just two days before. Nobody will write a good LOR for you then. You have to be systematic. You have to think properly. You have to work hard on the master's thesis. And it's not easy, okay? It takes time, obviously. And uh, I'm speaking it from experience, obviously. I was writing a report today. I just wrote a page today, I think. So it takes time. Maybe I'm not that efficient. Maybe other people are, whatever. So... This is exactly what you have to show that you show up for work, you are willing to work and and and, and yes, you have to apply for multiple positions. Ek to nahi milegi, obviously. You have to apply for multiple positions and you have to really show that huh, mere, despite my marks, I can work. Despite my marks, I can do research. Despite my marks, I can show results. Okay. And try, really try that uh, for your master's thesis, you get a grade that is really good. So that it boosts your overall score. Okay. One of my professors once said, nobody gives a shit about your score except yourself. People will look at it and forget. You won't even remember what you got. But it's really important to show for yourself ki I can work hard. I can come overcome these particular obstacles despite of whatever happened. Okay, if maybe there was some problem in your semester, you overcame that. Maybe you, you did poorly in one subject, you fixed it. So it's for you not for anybody else. CGPA is just a barrier. It's just a filter that will basically have to be broken by you only. Take away after this motivational, somewhat informative video, we come to an end. Man mein koi bhi sawal hai, please comments na push lijega. I have to go and catch a bus and go back home. So see you in the next video. And please let me know your thoughts in the comments and we will try to resolve them right there and there. Thanks for watching. Signing off. Bye. Mm -hmm.